Free at last, two days after a TVG exclusive report on the case of Raymond Morgan, he's now a free man. Mr. Morgan was convicted in February 2011 on four counts of fraud after being tried without a lawyer. A follow-up by the Department of Corrections and the courts with his appeal caused it to lag in the system for more than a decade. But after the president of the appeal court refused a bail application for Morgan on Wednesday and ruled there was no appeal in place for him, the Department of Corrections was left with one choice, to free Mr. Morgan, who had effectively completed his sentence. Now, Giovanni Dennis, who has been tracking the story, was outside the Tower Street Adult Correctional Facility as Ray Morgan drove out a free man moments ago. The gates are now opening 4,300 days since Mr. Morgan was arrested on fraud charges in July 22, 2009. He's a free man. Ray Morgan, how do you feel about being free, sir? Uh, I'm elated, I'm elated, I'm elated. How do you feel about the justice system that caused you to be here, the delays in the justice system that caused this, the mishaps? Uh, to be honest, I can't, I can't say. I, I'm, just I'm just overwhelmed. What are your next steps right now? I'm going to speak to my lawyer and they will direct me accordingly. Is there anything you'd like to say about the system inside and how other Jamaicans may be suffering as a result of systemic weaknesses with the appeal process? So many things I want to say, but I, as I, I can assure you that um, I will give you an interview at a more convenient time. Is there anything else you'd like to say just right now before you go that you'd want Jamaicans to know or to hear from you? I think the system needs to be reformed. In the meantime, attorney at law John Clark, who represented Mr. Morgan, reacted to his release. I'm happy that this nightmare is over for Ray Morgan, at least for now. It's a disgrace that his appeal may never be heard, and if it is actually heard, that he will not receive the full benefit of the appeal. Mr. Clark says he hopes no other Jamaican goes through something like this. I hope that the parliamentarians will correct the defect in the law and will ensure that his case becomes a historical case that has never and will never be repeated in our country's history. He also said he was happy with the outcome. About the manner in which the Court of Appeal moved with quite quick dispatch to deal with this matter. In fact, we would have filed the documents in March, and in short order, they gave us a date, and a judgment was produced by the president himself within 24 hours, and the Court of Appeal ensured that the prison authorities received a copy because, strangely, the answer.